Tesla and Edison were going to talk about their current wars and how they didn't mm -hmm. like each other. And Edison wasn't always the nicest guy, but he was an inventor and yes. he invented an awful lot of things. Um, he was a businessman mm -hmm. too, but he had an inventor's side. So let's talk a little bit him as an inventor. Okay, so Thomas Edison was born in 1847 in Iowa, um, Ohio. Uh, age 15, Edison became uh, what was called a tramp uh, telegrapher, uh, sending and receiving messages via Morse code uh, and electronically conveyed alphabet using different clicks for each letter. Eventually, he worked for the Union Army as a tel uh, telegrapher. Um, Edison often entertained himself by taking things apart to see how they worked. Soon he decided to become an inventor. In 1884, he attained a great fame of fortune and built one of the largest laboratories in the world. And he worked extremely hard and registered over 1,093 patents. Edison continued to invent technology, uh, storage batteries, which is this Edison battery. There could be a whole discussion on this Edison battery because this is still used today in renewable energy. Uh, and motion pictures and movies. Now, his inventions changed the world forever, and obviously they still influence uh, the, the things that, that we take for granted. Uh, the DC motor, for example, and, and DC, the electric bulb, uh, DC current. In the late 1800s, uh, DC electricity could not easily be converted into high voltages. It was one of its main drawbacks. Also, what we'll find when Tesla comes into um, the picture is that DC current was very difficult to distribute over long distances. So as a result, Edison proposed a system of small local power plants uh, that would power individual neighborhoods or city sections. And by 1887, Edison had constructed 121 uh, DC power stations in the United States. Now, before we move on to Tesla, I just wanted to comment on that last part because when there's some great movies out there um, and well there's links to these films but at that time when he had all those DC towers mm -hmm. right to power everything this was before we had our current electric system that we use today which is AC mm -hmm. right so everything that we've always used AC but back then it was all DC mm -hmm. and it was all put up by Edison but I've heard stories about how it was such a bad system that horses horses they didn't have cars they had all the horse-drawn carriages they were getting shocked and electrified wow. as they were uh, running in the streets or pulling mm -hmm. carriages in the streets because the DC current was was running through um, the streets and the, the metal on the horse's shoes. Like there was problems. There was fires breaking out everywhere. Mm -hmm. So while it was this new modern thing and people were excited because they didn't have to light their homes with candles anymore, it still was a very, very dangerous electrical system. But... When we get into the current wars, you'll see how Edison was trying to make his system look like it was safe and how Tesla's system was going to kill everybody, but it was actually the other way around. So.